Hi guys, Mr. B here, and today we're just going to have a quick look at what prime numbers are. Okay, so prime numbers are not really that hard to understand. There's only two really things we need to know to find out whether a number is uh, a prime number. So the first rule for prime number is it has to be a whole number that's greater than one. Okay, so it means negative numbers aren't prime numbers, and it can't be a decimal or a number with a fraction. Okay, mixed number, something like that. Second rule, most important one, is the only, ha only factors that it have are one and itself, okay? So if you're having a little think and thinking what are factors, if you click up there, it'll take my video which tells you um, what factors are. Um, but the only factors in a prime number are one and itself, no other factors, okay? So we'll show you some examples here. So we know things are greater than one. So we have a look at number two. Now number two's only factors are one, and itself. So that would mean two is a prime number. Let's go up another one, three. Let's have a look at three. Three's only factors are one and three. So again, three is a prime number. Let's go up to four. So we'll do four over here. Four, factors I have is one and four, but we can also do two times two, okay? Two goes into four twice without any remainder. So this is not a prime number. And we could go on and keep going up to out all the prime numbers, okay? But I think you get the picture there, all right? Numbers that aren't prime, just in case you're wondering, we call those composite numbers. So four would be a composite number, not a prime number, okay? So we can keep going on. Rather than keep going on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put up after the end of this video, a picture with a number grade of all the prime numbers from one to 100 and you can have a look and work out, see how each number is a prime number because it only has one and itself as a factor, okay? There are also things you can do where you look at rules to help you work out whether numbers are prime, okay? We know all numbers only have one in itself, so apart from two, all e uh, even numbers can't be uh, prime, they have to be composite. Why? Because even numbers can be divided by two, which means they always have two as a factor. Okay, so there are other rules that you can use to quickly work out whether bigger numbers are factors. Can you think of any other rules? Another rule that jumps into my head there is I know any number that ends in a zero is in the ten times table, which would mean any number that has a zero on the end can't be a prime number. Lots of rules there rather than going through every number and finding out whether it's prime. Hope that's helped. If it has, okay, um, give it a thumbs up. And if you know anyone that needs this video, might need to help them, share it. Um, of course, if you need any more help, uh, you can put a comment down there or you can go on the Facebook page or Twitter and send me a message and I'll help you as much as I can. Okay, until next time, see you later.